Hello guys and welcome to episode 37 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Von Karsteins on very hard difficulty. This is Mortal Empires and we are going for world domination and today it starts by continuing the war with the Skaven. So we took Wolfenberg from them in the last episode and now we're going to be moving on to attack Castle Von Rauken since it is in the same province and we'll probably go and take Norden at some point as well from Norska since we are at war with them as well. We are also at war with Wintertooth, so taking Kislev at some point might be a nice idea. It's a shame this is all kicked off though, since Chaos will be on their way shortly. I have to wait and see if uh, they actually pay attention to us, because the last couple of armies that we saw just ran through our lands and went somewhere completely different. So we've managed to get away with that for the time being. Milland is busy trying to sort out the public order in Karazakarak. We can always turn off the tax if we need to. But that is about everything done for this turn, I believe. So let's move on to the next one. Five turns until we get an increase to our income. Get plus 30% from Vampire Crypts and Keeps, which is very nice indeed. I don't believe there's too much we really need to pay attention to here other than maybe Norska. They didn't actually go anywhere, so Vlad's going to be able to attack them. Oh, that's not good. Wintertooth coming around the corner there with an army. We've been chasing Throg for too long. We're going to have to start heading back in that direction. Possibly. Um, I might just be able to recruit an army there, honestly. Because we do have a lot of income. And we could use probably a fourth army at this point, or a fifth army, even. I think it would be our fifth. Either way, I'm probably just going to recruit an army there quickly to hold the line. And then I will disband them afterward, or I will disband the one in Karazakarak. Oh, the Vampire Coast has been destroyed, which isn't good. A nation that we possibly could have confederated in the future. But it's good to see Missalon doing well. Clan Mulder's definitely not doing well. Destroyed their only couple armies. They do have plenty of uh, places left for us to attack, I believe. Be good to take out the Skaven in the north, though, because um, Skaven corruption is a pain in the bum to get rid of. More further. Very nice. We've got 9,000. Definitely enough to recruit an army here. We are going to need to. I have no idea what's in this army. We don't even have walls here. That's rather tragic. Of course they go for that particular settlement. I guess the best thing for me to do would be to get maybe a necromancer. Possibly just another vampire lord. This guy enables poison attacks. This guy's not great. Minus construction costs for all buildings. A confident plus two leadership. All units in army. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's go for him. Rudiger Steinhoff. So he can jump into Kalakangor. Uh, we will probably recruit all of the zombies that we can. Can I recruit anything else there? No. So I'll probably have to recruit all of these as well. That'll do, and we can level them up, give him the hunger, the restless dead. Okay. Now, it's not the end of the world doing this, since it does allow me time to build up the ghost fence, and it also helps out with public order. So, although it does decrease our income in the short term, it will prevent us losing a gold settlement to Tavi Hilmerson. He does have a war mammoth, and if I remember correctly, these war mammoths are pretty scary to deal with. So we will have to be careful about that. Now, Melissa Ratep, um, we are going to continue with the offensive stats, I believe. Let's go for Wild Eyed. And Isabella and our army is going to have to head back in this direction. There's no point in continuing to chase Throg. Throg is powerful, but I mean, we've got Vlad down here who's going to deal with this Norsk army, and then we can carry on back north. 
I can't do it. So let's have Isabella head the other way. And honestly, doesn't she have a battle to do? Because we could do that. Yeah, she's got the Bug Chalice of Bathory quest to do. And this is only part of it, I believe. 1,500 bonus experience for Isabella upon completion is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and teleport to this battle. Should be a pretty simple one for us. Our units are very strong indeed. I'm going to give the extra armor piercing to the Felbats. Let's go ahead and fight this on the battle map. This is only part of the quest. We will then probably get a mission to do another battle at some point. On this occasion, the fury of the Beastmen is unmatched, as is their strength. Isabella and her forces must pick their adversaries carefully, lest their strength and unnatural bravery seize her army put to rout. Okay. We're in the Beast's Paths. There is such wonder in the raw, unbridled fury of these beast men. They teem and fester with might. I might find them beautiful if they weren't so terribly disgusting. Yet they have attracted the attention of the ignorant empire. Clearly, they possess some power beyond that of their brutish ilk. Whatever this power is, I shall have it. And I shall use it to ascend the von Karsteins to ever greater magnificence. There we go. Now it's time to charge on forwards and get the job done. So let's just have our grave guards stand together. We'll have Varex Reavers and the Dire Pack together. Vargolfs can stick with our Grave Guard. Probably best I keep my vampires with them as well. We'll make them into a group. And we'll start the battle. Champion of the frenzied herd of beasts is a blood hungry gorbal. Kill him before he tears us apart. Oh, this guy? I'm sure we can deal with him nice and easy. We do have Spirit Leech after all, so it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, this lady is pretty much built to take on enemy melee foes. Since Isabella buffs Vampires, she should have really good stats. 88 melee attack, 66 melee defense. She does do fire damage due to the banner of eternal flame. What about this gore ball? It's melee attack and melee defense significantly worse. Not entirely sure why these guys are being so slow, but we're getting there. That was some sort of spell. Hit my lines. These Bray Shaman charge on forwards. Okay, let's have Isabella and that vampire go for that. I'll have this one remain in the skies. Time for my flying units to come overhead. Okay, well, my Vargoth got knocked down. Gonna have my Vargeist go and attack their Minotaurs. Have some of these fell bats can involve as well. 
Okay, this is uh, pretty damn ludicrous. Let's go ahead and get a invocation in there. Since we are going to need it, apparently. This is just nuts. Where is that Gorbal? I can barely see him. I think I'd be able to amongst all of these guys, but apparently not. Vampire. I think it's probably time for my flying units to get out of there. And what we'll do instead is get down a vortex. <laughs> wow, I think I just wiped out one of my own units of Felbats, but oh well. <laughs> Need to replace them eventually, I guess. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, time for another invocation. If we can get the winds to do so. need a couple more and then we're all good this is a ridiculous a ridiculous battle though <laughs> at least my bar golf's doing well this is where the spell landed i think we have to get down into the best to go ahead here Minotaurs doing a lot of damage. Time for the invocation. Fine. Have them retreat from that engagement. Bow before me. All shall bow. Go ahead and get rid of some of the attack on this beast lord. So that we can engage him. We are the new order. Vampire. The arcane conduit going. This vampire is going to want to engage their the beast lord order. as well. Over on this side, my our golf needs to get involved. Because currently he is not. Isabella von Karstein. I don't think I really played this very well. But that is a chain route. Yeah, we lost a couple units of fell bats in this battle. But I do need to change them eventually anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But since that is a quest battle, we do not have to run them down. And apologies for being so damn rusty in that battle. That was not very good at all. But we got the job done, and we will get 1,500 for completing that, as well as the experience for Isabella. There's also the opportunity uh, or possibility that the Felbats will be brought back to life. Maybe that will happen for one of them, which would be good since they are quite high unit rank. dead rise again. So we got one of them back and the other one died. I'm going to return the captives for the money. And that is job done. Now we have to recruit the following hero, Necromancer. The beastmen have been destroyed. Isabella and her forces begin picking through the desiccated remains, eventually discovering a horn thick with foul and pestilent blood, yet glowing with an alluring and altogether otherworldly aura. Though she cannot be sure, the sense of great darkness and dread leads Isabella to believe that this horn is one of the fabled ruinous gifts bestowed upon the beastmen by the chaos gods themselves. Although fascinated by it, Isabella knows that consuming this god-blighted crewer would tear her apart. She must consult those who know of these things, the dark and twisted necromancers, to reveal more. Okay. 
So, time for Isabella to get herself a Hellsteed, I would assume. I will help her be a bit more mobile on the battlefield. And I might also give this vampire a Hellsteed as well. So we have three flying vampires. I think the best thing to replace uh, the Felbats with actually is probably some Blood Knights. We should have some Blood Knights able to be recruited soon, if not already. We go into the building browser at Castle Drakenhof. Yeah, we do have the Reliquary built now, so Blood Knights are available. And building multiple of them will be very important to defeat Chaos for sure. Let's uh, attack these, this army of Norska. Uh, I think we're just going to auto-resolve that one. We'll take the uh, magic from that. Very much. And we are going to head back towards Karaberg. And possibly colonize that. Then we will go towards Throg and take him out. As for this army, well, we can hit Castle Von Rauken from here, so I don't think there's any reason not to, really. And that's quite simply an auto resolve since it's Skaven. And uh, we will occupy that settlement. I'm going to go ahead and get a Charnel Pit. It's very important that I get the growth going here sooner than later. Ormond has also leveled himself up. Continue with Dark Pact. That extra leadership is uh, very useful indeed. And that will be everything done for this turn. Arazakarak. Possibly could use a couple more zombies here to help out with public order. And up there we already built that army. Okay. As for our Banshee, let's go and scout the ruins at Fort Os. Trosk. That's going to be another clan Molder settlement. Also leveled up our Banshee once again. Then we will continue with Elusive. We have a settlement upgrade available at the Pillars of Grungni. Might be a shout actually. Just so that we can get the walls there. Anywhere else that we need to build though. Probably in Kalakangor actually. If we build the Awakened Battlefield as well, then we build up our garrison there very quickly. So let's do that. We're going to move on to the next turn. We'll see if they attack that settlement. I'm hoping they don't. And that is Wintertooth with the Mammoths. Because those Mammoths will be very, very hard to get rid of. But usually, large units are easily taken care of by missile forces but since we have no missile forces at all it's very difficult okay he's ended up going back which is good frog's also heading back as well although might go for the settlement we have there which would be annoying um, the Brass Keep is what I'm talking about, just north of Hergig up in the mountains. It doesn't have walls, I don't think, so Throg can probably take it on his own. Saying that, if the AI tries to attack it, I think the Auto Resolve may just let us win anyway. I wonder who the Skull Takers are at war with. They must be at war with someone in order to send an army that far out. Because they did settle in the mountains eventually. Blackstone Post was taken by the vampires, that's good. And Musalon. Means that one of the last dwarven nations is likely to die soon. And that is everything. Okay. So we're in a pretty good position, I think. Um, I'm still worried about Chaos, of course. With Elda now lucky, which is nice. 
Maybe you could uh, fire back here with an assassination. Okay, that did not work. I'm Vlad. Do we go and take Karaberg? I think possibly we do. Because that will give us the repressed mortals here, which will boost public order quite significantly. That's good. Weissman does have walls, but yeah, Brass Keep is the one I'm worried about here, since it does not have walls. So I don't think Isabella can just completely leave Throg to his own devices. Since Wintertooth's backed off towards Kislev, I think we're okay for now. Uh, I might just jump out here and raise Sebastian. Let's do that. Auto resolve. And we'll just quite simply raise that. Great. Now we will max out Dark Pact. My White King is also leveled up. Continue with Heart to Hit. Uh, a Corrupted Village has finished. Oh, that was Brass Keep. And how is the public order at Karazakarak? Okay, it's only minus one. With the Vampiric Corruption continuing to go up and the Balefire Hearth finishing soon, uh, this should eventually be like positive public order to the point where we can disband this army and get ourselves our income back. Okay, so Isabella, um, we are going to move her into Talapheim, I think, for this turn. We'll see what Throg decides to do. The reason I'm moving her in there specifically, though, is because of the replenishment. Move on to the next turn. The Cult of Pleasure and the Greenskins have pieced out with one another. Didn't even realise they were at war. That is a very distant war, that's for sure. Kanak Zifflin. I'm hoping that they get wiped out by Yeah, I'm hoping Kanak Zifflin get wiped out by Musalon. But the reason I paused there was because a large army of Norska has come down into Middenland. Now, I'm not sure if Vlad's gonna be able to deal with that. It really does depend on the composition of the army. Because, in general, our melee forces are worse than that of Norska. And what would be nice is for this rogue army that we can see in the picture there briefly. Um, attacked Skaven since they're sat there, but... Don't think that they will. Good old AI. Now raising Zavastra actually might have been a bad idea. Because surely Wintertooth might just go over there and colonise that, which would be really awkward. Oh well. We're going to have to deal with this Norska army at some point. I'm assuming we are just out of range, as usual, to attack Throg. Wolfric is leading Marauder Champions, Marauder Horsemen, Marauder Berserkers, Marauder Champions with great weapons. All of these are pretty damn scary. And Vlad's army is like, in not a very good position right now. I'm going to get the Awakened Battlefield at Middenheim. That's pretty important. And if Wolfric wants to take Attrition, then he can. I don't think I'm going to move Vlad again, because I want to get that Replenishment without having him in Weissmund, because there's a very good opportunity that they will be able to hit Weissmund. Actually, would they, though? Because he's in March Dance, and he can only just get there. 
It might be worth just moving up to Weissmund with the march. There is walls here, so it's not the end of the day if we get attacked. Isabella is nearby. I think I'm going to have Isabella try and kill off the rog, though. Just so that I don't have to worry about him anymore. And the reason I'm moving him here is so that I can basically catch up to him wherever he moves. Now, Ormond, he is going to march towards Norden. We want to take that. I'm hoping that in the meantime we get enough growth to upgrade the corrupted village. We actually do have enough to do so because getting the walls in there is pretty important if we want to hold on to it. Okay, now for Bethilda. We're going to head to Prague and scout those ruins. Same with Volksgrad. Um, as for Rudiger, I think he can just hold on to those men for now, continue to bring back that public order. Okay. Two turns until we get a boost to our income, which would be nice. Then the turn here, see what Norska get up to. Norska is the main one I'm worried about, um, especially with that large army. The army from Wintertooth is annoying, just because I didn't have defences already at Kadakongor. But once I do have the defences, I can probably just disband the army I had there. No failure to block my army, that's good. Middenheim is going to be the uh, target. Possibly? Maybe not. By the way, we should be able to see more of what's in that army. As Throg decides to run away once again. Listen, we can't catch him. This is just so frustrating. Oh, pleasure declared war on Hexwattle. It's all kicking off over the water. I'll just keep things sped up. Eric Zifflin just declare war on the Greenskins. Yeah, they did. That's not the best idea. Critical failure <laughs> for the wound. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's have a look at what's in, in this army. Oh, it's still just showing us the same amount. It's fine. Let's upgrade this lady. We will probably go towards Tenacity now. She barely has any health. And we're going to start walking towards these guys. Alright, that's not so bad. That's actually a better army than I expected. Um, I kind of thought that he would have some uh, mammoths and stuff with him, but he doesn't. So, we are lucky in that sense. As for Isabella, he ain't catching up with Throg anytime soon. I'm just going to make sure that all of these areas do have walls. Otherwise, we will have to chase him. Yeah, we're going to have to chase him. Let's just go all the way down to here. Because Kalaberg's just going to be taken otherwise. And that would be an absolute waste of time if that does occur. Go and take Norden. Wow. Is that actually a battle I have to play out? The auto resolve might screw me if I don't even though I should be able to take this on quite easily. Interesting. 
Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. In the next episode, what I'm going to have to do is fight this on the battle map and take Norden. Then we will have secured the settlement, or the province, which allows me to focus on wiping out the rest of the Skaven up north. That is where we are at. In the meantime, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.